I ruined a vacation because I said no when my partner asked me to marry him Ada. My now ex-partner asked me to marry him even though I told him that I don't ever want to get married again. There's not really much to this story because the title explains it but I F42 have talked multiple times with my partner M43 about this topic. I told him that I never want to get married and it's not about him but it's just the fact that I see no point in it. I was married once and had a horrible divorce when my ex tried to take away our daughter and more. Basically, I decided I never want to bound to anyone as that way. It's easier to just break up than to divorce. My partner isn't really happy with this and he asked me multiple times what would change my mind and do I just not want to marry him. These questions started to infuriate me and would lead to arguments because I said it million times. Last time we had an argument was at beginning of July when he started that topic again and I told him that I think we need to stop this relationship because it's obvious we don't agree in it. I made a big deal about it and my daughter and his kids were mad at me because I wanted to break up but he didn't. I decided to stay and I was finally convinced we were done with this topic and that he agreed to just continue living together until we went on vacation last week to Greece and for some reason he asked me to marry him. It made me so mad. I seriously didn't know if I wanted to cry or scream. He asked me this in front of my daughter and his kids, and it made it even worse. I said no and went back to the room. They stayed behind and probably talked shit about me, but now I realize that not marrying him was a good choice because even though I said no multiple times before he thought that if he pressured me, on vacation, at public place and in front of the kids, that I would feel obligated to say yes. I packed my bags and told my daughter to do the same. She was mad at me, but she will get over it. So we came back from the trip only two days after we arrived. I don't want to continue this relationship because I feel disrespected and disgusted by the way he thinks. Yikes and I personally don't think I'm in a holy, and this is more of a rant, but I guess you tell me. Edit. I never knew this would get so many comments, and for people who agree with me, thank you. Little add to this. Many people mentioning that my past relationship is the reason I don't want to marry, but no it's not. I don't even think about my first failed marriage and it's irrelevant. I just don't want to get married again because it doesn't feel special or important anymore. Besides that since I left from vacation last week, he sent me multiple messages accusing me of cheating and that being the reason I don't want to get married. He called me some shameful names so that tells me enough about how much he really loved me or cared. Safe to say this relationship is completely over. Basically now he is still calling me and sending messages but saying he's sorry for calling me a slut and saying I'm cheating on him. He's again saying it doesn't matter that I don't want to get married and that we shouldn't break up. I know this isn't true because he said it before too, and yeah, I guess this is last edit. Stop fucking mentioning the previous divorce. I only mentioned it so say that I was married once, so it's not like this is something new to me and I'm scared or whatever. It's as simple as that. I don't want to marry him or anyone for whatever TF reason. I loved him but now I hate him because he's a lying idiot who keeps insisting he is fine with not being married and then talks about it all the time. I don't care. Update. I didn't know this post would get so much attention so now, I feel like I need to explain some things more. I knew my now ex-partner for a very long time, and actually we used to work at same company at one point prior to being in relationship. He pretty much knew me very well because we talked a lot before, when we were both married. And no it was not in romantic way and he had nothing to do with my divorce and vice versa. Later on when I got divorced I met him again but this time in different occasion and we talked and went for a coffee. Not even in romantic way just like friends who didn't see each other in a long time. Eventually he asked me to go for a coffee again. And ick we just started talking more and started going on dates. He was joking that the divorce left him devastated. But seriously he was joking about it. This is partly why I don't understand why would he want to get married again but we are all different I guess. I also told him about my divorce and joked about some things. As things were getting more real I made sure that he knows I don't want to get married. At first I didn't say up front I don't want to marry you, but I was just saying how I would never get married again. He asked me why and I explained that ever since I was younger I never found any appeal in it. I don't like the whole idea of it. Being legally bound to someone and having to share everything if split just doesn't sound good to me. I also mentioned I never wanted to get married in the first place, but then felt like it would only make sense to get married back then. If I could go back, I wouldn't do it even then. I think it made people think that we were dating for years, and then he asked me to marry him but no. In reality we were dating only for a little over a year. 
We didn't live together until he offered to move in together so that our kids can meet too, and whatever. This living together thing didn't last long either. He did mention many times the things I said about marriage and asked me about it. I said it made me mad and it did. He asked me multiple times why do I never want to get married and he didn't make it seem like a question targeted to this relationship. He would ask me do I really mean that I would never marry anyone and it was starting to piss me off when he said not even if he was rich and shit like that. I argued with him over this and asked him does he want to get married. He told me that he doesn't care about marriage and that he's just joking nf shit like that. I do now think that moving in part is stupid idea but it happened so there's no point talking about it now. Again when I said I wanted to end relationship in July, it was because of this. I then told him that we should break it off because we obviously don't agree but he was claiming he was just joking, as per usual, and that I don't understand jokes. I was serious about wanting to end this relationship but everyone, including my daughter and his two kids were telling me that I will ruin everything before this summer trip to Greece that would happen on beginning of August. Also since we live in Europe, going to Greece is nothing too fancy or as someone said, once in a lifetime trip. It's different than coming from USA I assume. So anyways, I didn't end the relationship but I told him to stop joking if he doesn't mean it and he said he would. Only to after we came to Greece on our second night there for him to ask me to marry him in front of everyone. I didn't expect it and I was absolutely mad. If the kids weren't around I would take a bottle from table and break it on his head. I don't care if it's too much. But instead I just said no and left. I didn't say anything else and just stood up and left to my room and called my daughter to come along. He didn't stand up to go after me and stayed there. I don't know why was he so shocked and hurt but I don't care either. My daughter came but after about 15 minutes when I already packed everything. She was mad at me and told me that I'm evil for leaving but she was upset about the trip and not the actual situation of breaking up. She told me this after we left. And also, if someone dares to say he loved me or wanted to spend his life with me, he sent me multiple messages where he called me a whore, slut, and saying that I'm cheating on him. I didn't answer but didn't block him either. He kept on calling me. I don't care about what he said because he died for me after asking me to marry him. I am stupid and asshole for not leaving earlier. Currently he deleted almost all of the messages and told me he's so sorry and didn't mean it. How he loves me. We don't have to get married. To get back together and all that. I told him we are done and that's basically the end now. I am not the aholy I still think that. I don't care about updating the story anymore and won't answer more comments but thank you for commenting.